guys cat jams thank you so much for stopping by i am going to try and be short and sweet because i have a wahoo mail from an extremely sweet kind funny caring friend and i want to share it with you so out of the blue this shows up in my p.o box and i'm like what the heck and i'm like really patrick thank you this is from my friend Patrick. I've talked about him before. He's, you know, we kind of like go back and forth sending each other things because we really do care about each other and have become friends all through the world of YouTube. He does have a channel out here. He is Zing Cat. I'm going to link that in right here. He is one of the most diverse, entertaining people who is consistent. I admire him. He sticks to his schedule and he doesn't miss it, but he has a variety. He happens to be a man with long hair and there is a whole world out here, um, people talking about long hair and especially men. But even though I'm not a man, I usually learn something from him because he researches and is unbiased and honest. So if you have long hair or are curious about growing it, you could check that out. He also does some wonderful three ingredient recipes, which I am constantly amazed at and yet have to actually make any of them. But he has friends help him do the recipes every week and all of his videos he keeps very short and fun. He has also self-esteem videos that post and they are my personal favorite with George and Dog, um, who they're just, they're brilliant. Um, <laughs> Patrick's brilliant. Peter's brilliant. Um, watch his channel and he is always adding something new and fun. So Patrick sent me something. Very kind of him as always. And let's open it up. Um, he always puts in a short little card and he's done this before. <sighs> Not knowing. And I, ah! Okay, first of all, the earrings I'm wearing today, which I did not plan, but they like to eat my hair, Patrick. I need to put my hair up, but then you would see the full stain on in my shirt. Anyway, these beautiful earrings Patrick sent me. He found them last summer. They are butterflies. Butterflies are so near and dear to my heart. Um, so I love these earrings. So I wear them a lot. And he wrote the little note. He was at a store today. And my mom, my parents are both gone and they talked to me through butterflies and evidently through amazing friends like you because he was at the store and he saw this and said, um, my mom visited him with these butterflies. And then <laughs> that same day he was on Facebook and he saw it was my birthday. So he said it was meant to be for me to have this. And this is so beautiful, lovely gift wrap. Now my mother, just so you know, Patrick, she would take this and she would she wouldn't iron it but she would press it out with her hand and fold it and save it to use again anybody else grow up doing that with gift wrap look at this beautiful piece of art he sent me is that not gorgeous okay we might have to okay hold on i gotta take the plastic off because you're missing out I guess it wasn't the plastic causing the glare. Maybe it's the glass at the front. It's been a long day, Patrick. Anyway, look at these. So there are these butterflies, and they're like popping out. So they're 3D, and it's not coming through, but the color of the background, it's kind of this dusty purple kind of mauve, which I love. And look at that. So now where do I put it? I'm going to, I don't know, do I bring it home? I might need to set it up. I might set it up back there once I clear out all the Easter stuff. This is very springy. I could hang it on the door because we don't use that door. But no, I'm too scared someone would still bump it and knock it off. I could move my coffee. I, I got to find a place for it, Patrick. But it is so beautiful. Thank you. And you can just say hi to my mom when she comes to visit you too. Like I said, I know she would absolutely love you. And if you saw some butterflies and just said, oh, hey, her name's Carol, by the way, you could just say, hey, Carol, I'll let Kathy know you were thinking of her today. But thank you. This is beautiful. Since he mentioned my birthday, <laughs> which it was April 1st, no fooling, that was my birthday. 
I'm not big on birthdays. If you're my Snapchat friend, you kind of saw me have a little bit of a breakdown. Um, and it's because my parents are gone. I don't want to start crying on here, but I have a hard time with birthdays um, because as much as my husband loves me and my friends and relatives, I mean, as much as all the wonderful people in my life love me, to me, there's nobody except my parents that celebrate my birthday as much. You know, when I was born, to them, that was, it changed their lives. Not like trying to make that sound like, whoo, their life got better. I'm just like, you know, when, when your child is born, whether you, you give birth to them, whether you adopt them when they, when they first come into your home, um, however that child gets into your life, that is a, a day as a parent that means it's like, it's one of the best days of your lives. And they loved me, they loved me, I don't want to say this, it's like they loved me more than anyone else could ever love me, just because of the different love. And I had a wonderful relationship with my parents, and my mom, um, she, I think I've said this before, she would always call me on my birth minute, didn't matter how old I was, where I was, um, when the phone rang, I knew it was her, and she'd sing happy birthday, and when they're gone it's really hard and I had a really hard birthday this year it wasn't that it was that significant of an age or anything I think I'm still just haven't dealt with a lot of the grief um, in losing them so I wasn't that excited about birthdays so this means a lot and then I got a couple cards I wanted to share because they made me smile this is from my dear friend Heather party cats and party hats <laughs> She knows I'm a cat person, and this is so perfect, and it's like wishing you a perfect birthday. So, uh, she and I have also just become close friends over the last few years, and such a blessing. I always know, this is how I know it's going to be my birthday, because I get this card. Do you know who it's from? Menards! How many of you get this birthday card with the coupon for a free gift? This is a... Oh, this isn't the same free gift as last year. Last year's had a little magnifying glass. So, a ratcheting drive set. Interesting. So, they are always the most prompt. I always get that birthday card first. I'm like, oh, it's coming up. And then this is absolutely beautiful. And as beautiful as my friend. So, this is my friend Sherry. Um, she and I worked together in another lifetime and we're friends then and we've actually just reconnected um, probably over the past year since I've been starting doing videos and stuff we started chatting a lot more and she is a beautiful amazing person and she's crafty look what she made me it's your day happy birthday with a beautiful butterfly and the blues are like my favorite color oops sorry sorry I was destroying my bit of washi was popping off but then Look at the front. And you, like, Sherry, had everybody here amazed. Like, my other crafty friends are like, holy smokes. Look at this. It's got a pop-out. Hip-hip, hooray. But then, not only that, she, like, adds all these extra, like, die cuts and banners. Let's celebrate. Party on. Wahoo. Isn't that amazingly beautiful? <sighs> Sherry. Sherry, you're a gem. Patrick. I don't know what to say about you, but thank you guys. You're, I mean, just having you in my life is such a gift and for you to take the time and, you know, the time, the effort, the money, just to send something like this, it really does make my day and just makes me realize how blessed I am. And I'm, I'm speechless, if you can believe that. I don't even know what to say anymore. So thank you guys. Thank you. I'll link in um, Patrick's channel down below again so it's easy for you to go check him out. I really do love you guys as I do each and every one of you. And don't you guys ever forget, you matter. You've made my life so much better. I can't imagine what it would be like without you.